Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I've got a real treat for you. Behold the Wii U coat. Check that out. Now that might look like any other coat with not a lot of style to it, but yet it does so much more. So you might ask yourself, Vince, what does the Wii U coat do? It allows you to play the Wii U absolutely anywhere you want. In a tent. In the car. And then you might say, Vince, what happens if you want to play it on the big screen? Not a problem. With a projector on the hood, you can have the big screen wherever you want it. 60 inches, 70 inches, no problem. The nearer you get, the smaller it is. The further away you get, the bigger it gets. Using the big screen in the tent. And by now, obviously, you're amazed with it, but you might ask me, Vince, can this Wii U coat do anything else? If you like playing with your Wii U Pro controller, then you can attach a little monitor to the top of it like this, and then you could use this as a small gamepad. This is mimicking the TV though, so for games like Splatoon you would be able to use this because it's not actually working as the gamepad, it's working as a small TV. So this is Mario Kart 8. The good thing about it is, it's very, very light, there's hardly any weight to this at all. And I can hear some of you saying, Vince, does it play Wii games? Wii games are no problem at all. Pop the wireless sensor bar somewhere convenient and then use your pointer projector on the head and now you can see it moving around up on the screen there and then a lot of you might say to me Vince what's the point why don't you just get a Nintendo Switch that is a very valid point but can the Switch do this the virtual console mmm so let's take a closer look at the Wii U coat and show you how it works now I only did this for fun, I don't know how safe it is. Obviously you're covering the power bank in fabric, you're covering the Wii U in fabric. These things were designed to be out in the open so that they could breathe. By covering it in fabric, you are gonna increase the heat, it could potentially lead to a fire. You don't wanna be wearing something that could potentially lead to a fire. So obviously, this is just done for a kind of proof of concept just for the fun of doing it. If you were to ever do this yourself, make sure you take the proper precautions and make sure everything is vented properly. Just undo the zip, everything is buried in the lining of the coat itself. So on the left hand side, this side we've got the power bank and on this side here, we actually have the Wii U. So if you have a look closely now, if I turn this one on, this is just a 12 volt power bank. So uh, it's gonna be output in 12 volts. You can see the lights there. Let's turn on the Wii U and now everything will liven up, you should hear. There you go, so you can see it buried in there. Let's just pop a disc in just to show you that the discs do work. Okay, so in goes the disc. And the Wii U needs to be able to breathe. So it's got a fan at the bottom, so what I've done is I've just done a cut out of the fabric and then I've put some mesh in there just to allow the airflow. And again here, you can see that there's mesh here on the side here and the side here. Obviously when you're wearing it, there's gonna be even less airflow, but the coat's kind of baggy and as long as you don't do it up, then it will get enough air around it. Now what I have to do is, because the Wii U wants 15 volts, you have to step up the voltage from 12 volts to 15 volts. So this is just a laptop charger that you plug into your car cigarette lighter. So input is 12 volts and then it outputs whatever you want it to. So in this case, I've selected a switch to 15 volts and then I've put a little bit of plastic to stop it getting knocked and covered it in tape. So now it can't move over to the higher voltages and damage the Wii U. Out of the Wii U, we've got the HDMI cable that's feeding the projector on the hood. And then we've also got an AV cable that's running down the arm and that's what's feeding that little screen that you've seen on the pro controller earlier so here we have one for power and also one for video as well the cable is AV composite so it's also got the red and white connectors for the audio but that little screen I got only cost 12 pounds so it doesn't do audio it's just video only in this pocket here we have the wireless sensor bar for when you want to play the Wii and also the Wiimote 
And as well as that, I've got three USB cables that all feed back into this pocket. So if I pull them out, you will see that I've got a mini USB from the Wii U that's gonna charge up the Pro Controller. I've got a USB cable that feeds the projector when you wanna charge up the projector onto the hood. And I've also got a USB cable that feeds the power bank as well. And now if I spin it over, you will just see the hood. Right now, in this hood here, if you go to wear it, so when you put your hood up, you will see that there is actually a projector. So that's gonna be on top of your head here. I've had to jot it out like that because of the airflow again, because otherwise it would overheat. So that is it. In the back of this, you have HDMI feeding it and also the USB to charge it up as well. And right, let's show you a little bit of gameplay now, just in the main room downstairs, projecting onto the blind. So there you have it, that is the video on the Wii U coat. It does look a bit of a sorry state when it's thrown out like that, but are you looking at the future of gaming here before you? Not this one, obviously, this was just done for a novelty and nobody in their right mind would go out with those heavy batteries and the Wii U stuck to the inside of it. But I wonder in the future, would it be possible to have gaming garments with a huge amount of power in them and then you would just hold your tablet in your hand and play it that way? Or Realistically, is it just all gonna be cloud-based and then you'll have a dumb terminal in your hand that's just streaming the games in real time? That's probably gonna be the way it goes. But still, maybe a PlayStation 4 Slim version could be done with the PS4U, you know, my wireless HDMI monitor with the Joy-Cons on the side, or even an Xbox One S version with the Xbox One U, same monitor, just slightly different setup. All possibilities, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm well aware that really this is redundant now because we have the Nintendo Switch. And most of those games that you like on the Wii U will hopefully bit by bit be ported over to the Nintendo Switch. So apart from the virtual console, you've got everything you need in your hands here really. And you don't have to attach this into any coat to make it portable. So please just take this video with the fun that it was intended to be. Now hopefully you did get a bit of enjoyment out of it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.